Oh, that's right, there's four now. Oopsie crap. The only way to stop the hydraulic press is the force stop button. An electro bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered with the safety function. There'd be no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the force stop button. When you say someone, you mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. Hmm, actually, maybe I pressed it by accident. I don't really remember. So what of it? The press only stopped for like a sec. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? That's true. There's also the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. That would have clearly been caught on camera. While the camera is rolling. Oh, I see. It wasn't just the press that stopped. Huh? Exactly. If you stop something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press. Yes, I see it now. That's how the bodies were switched. If you stop that, you can easily swap the bodies. The culprit stopped the video camera at the same time as the hydraulic press. Then, while the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press. After the body was swapped, the press and the camera were started simultaneously. So it just looks like the press stopped for a moment. I've been saying this whole time! When did you ever say that? So they stopped at the same time. The camera position did seem odd to me. But now I get it. The trick wouldn't work unless it was set up there. Huh? Why? To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up precisely. Let's pin that down. Where was the camera set up? Pretty far away, you wouldn't be able to stop both at the same time. Oh. Uh. You right, Samugi, you right. There! The video camera must have been set up somewhere around here. To operate the press and the camera at the same time, it would have to be near the switch. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. And if it was recorded at such an odd angle, then that proves the trick was used. Camera angle, huh? Looks like your cosplayer experience is finally useful. Well, cosplay doesn't really come up all that much in class trials. There was a reason the camera was set up there, but also a reason for the height. When the press was stopped, you couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. 
The camera must have been placed at such a high position so it would produce that angle. I wonder if they used that tripod in the hangar to adjust the camera's height. Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez, that place is like a four <laughs> You don't get to make that reference. Then, that logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switched the victim in the hydraulic press. In that case, Kaito is... Before he was crushed by the press, he was swapped with a different body. So Kaito's still alive! Well, wait just a minute. <laughs> Himiko, the different body you mentioned, what are you talking about? The bodies from the other cases. Okichi's the mastermind, so he... Wait, the mastermind? Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so... I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. What? Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? Very well. They I'll absolutely do. DR1. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. This discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? Also, I want to make it fairly clear. This is the third game. Obviously, if things occurred in prior games that fit the timeline, I'm going to bring them up. Apologies for anybody who hasn't seen the other two games, but this is why we play the games in chronological order. Anyway, shade aside, moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind. But I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body. That is impossible! All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. However, in this instance, I might be wrong. Thrown away? The other bodies are gone? Then who did Kaito switch places with? Kokichi and Kaido were the only ones that are in the hangar at the time. If they were the one, only ones present during the body swapping trick, then the real victim was... This is where I'm gonna die for like the 300th time, for the usual. If it wasn't an old body, it could only be. What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaido switch places with? Maki, I think I missed something very important here. Something important? If I have the timeline right, there were only two people in the hangar at the time. Which means that something had to have been decided before. I have to pin that down. I can't let anything escape this me this time. Oh my god! So many letters. Oh, shit. What the fuck, Kaido? Oh, that's not... Okay, that's not the E. Damn it. I thought that was an E. I should have waited. Why the hell did you help, Kaido? I can't believe I overlooked this. What do you mean? There were only two people in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped. Which means they were working together. Huh? 
Working together? The only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit. The culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press while the victim lay inside. They switched places while the press and the camera were stopped. Then the person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. To put it simply, both people operated the press and camera at different times. An impossible trick, unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. Cooperated? Is that even possible? It sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. Commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. Jeez, this culprit's a real jerk. So, have you realized who done it yet? The culprit of this case. If my detective work hasn't failed me, the culprit inside that exosol can only be them. No. The apparent victim we saw in the video was Kaiko, which means... Kokichi was operating the hydraulic press and camera at first. Yeah. If the two of them switched while the press was stopped, then the culprit who started the hydraulic press again and crushed Kokichi must be Kaito. Wow. So, the person inside that exosol isn't Kokichi. It has to be Kaito. What did you say? So, the culprit for this case is... Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? Kaito is the culprit? What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious. I don't want to believe it either. But it's the only way any of this makes sense. My detective work has led me to the conclusion that Kaito is the culprit. Is that true? Is Kaito really in there? I'm the culprit. There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive. Because I'm the culprit. Wait, you? But didn't you say- I saw it with my own eyes. Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. There's no doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. But you told us you didn't want to kill Kaito. Yes, I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But the truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. Huh? I don't understand. Maki, are you... Are you trying to protect Kaito? If he's the culprit, are you trying to help him get away? There was only one antidote, so it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer, right? Huh? Are those the only options? I guess that's how things turned out. No, that can't be. 
The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito! I saw Kokichi drink the antidote! There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. I... killed Kaito. There is absolutely no doubt. That's... the truth. I thought so. Maki is, in fact, trying to protect Kaido. I understand how she feels, but if Kaido is the culprit, why did he agree to Kokichi's plan? I can't imagine that Kaito would do something so selfish. There must be a reason for it. I truly believe that. But I have to get to the bottom of this before I can uncover that truth. But Maki, you don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. What? You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possibility. What are you talking about? Impossible. That's impossible. There is no other possibility. I killed Kaito! Argument Amaranth with Maki. I killed Kaito! Oh! You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other possibility. Oh my god. What do you know? I was. Oh, I don't know why I was going on switch button extravaganza. I killed Kaito. But I was. You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other possibility. What do you know? Kaito. Literally haven't operated a switch in like over a year, but I was in, uh, in switch mode. It doesn't matter what also, I really like Maki's design on this. I'm telling you, this is the truth. But you keep getting away. You're so goddamn annoying. That was a master. Doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this is the truth. But you keep getting away. I was at the scene, so I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him, but I won't run away from the truth anymore. I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. It is here. I... Kokichi just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. He pretended to drink it? Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. There's a strong possibility that all of this was done to make Kaito cooperate. Make him cooperate? The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Kaito's cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride for the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. But didn't Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. He went so far as to give up his life just to create this mystery? Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. Who else would agree to die just to execute their plan? Would he go that far? I bet Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what. 
But too bad! Shuichi figured out the truth! Truth? Are you sure it's not delusion? Delusion? A delusion completely off the mark. To make you think that I died. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. Extras? I'm fine with being an extra. <laughs> you go, girl. Huh? Why? If we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I'd still kill you all. Don't put Kokichi's words in my mouth. <laughs> nah, y'all still dying, by the way. Just so you know. <laughs> but why? You are being so friendly with us. Because rules are rules. If Monokuma gets it right, then he takes everyone's lives, yeah? But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, then this killing game can't function anymore. Can't function anymore. Kaito, I believe in you. Mm -hmm. If you're cooperating with this plan, you must have a reason. To determine that reason, I need to reveal the truth. I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. Oh, this is gonna be a long one, isn't it? Okay, so this is early on. No, leave in the bathroom. Oh, my bad. Louise. That was the ending. Okay, so that means my initial thought process on this one was right. Okay. This is the truth of the case! Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. Last night, Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exosil hangar. 
When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. That someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. A disassembled crossbow from Maki's lab. The culprit was going to use the crossbow to challenge Kokichi to a fight. Some time passed, and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. She used her electro hammer to disable an exosol and climbed inside. She knew exosols could bypass the barrier, so she got inside one. Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. While Kokichi was checking up on them, the culprit ambushed him with a crossbow. But the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him. That's why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's right arm. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. Kokichi reeled from the arrow, and the culprit jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an exosol with the remote. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. The shutter of the hangar opened, and an exosol stepped inside. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an exosol to interrupt them. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the exosol. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with her crossbow. The arrow hit Kokichi right in the back, and it was no normal arrow. The tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. To keep Maki from becoming the Blackened, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lab, and immediately ran off to get it. The Strike 9 poison slowly circulated through their systems, and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up a clever lie. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Or should I say, help him defeat Monokuma. That was Kokichi's true objective. It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. Thinking fast, Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar. So she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window.
But after the culprit was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote, while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned arrow. But it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pretended to drink the antidote. Maki tried desperately to break into the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another... An electrobomb, capable of disabling communication devices for hours. Kokichi's plan was to use an electrobomb to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras. That was why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first place. After detonating an electrobomb, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. In exchange for the antidote, Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. But because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. Ah, request is a generous term. It was more like blackmail. In any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. There was a lot to prepare and not a lot of time. They had to work fast. If Kokichi died from the Strike 9 poison, the whole plan would be ruined. After fabricating the scene in the bathroom, the culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press. This is how the swipe pattern bloodstain from the bathroom to the press was created. Kokichi, with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel. The two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel, the culprit laid face up inside the press, draping their coat over their shoulders. Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. The hydraulic press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered, but the electrobomb had disabled it. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, Kokichi pressed the force stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. The two then switched places and also switched roles. The culprit and the victim. The would-be victim became our culprit and started up the press and camera. Kokichi had saved the culprit's life because his trick required their cooperation. He wanted to win the killing game, even if it meant dying himself. And so, Kokichi was crushed by the press, and the whole thing was caught on video. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from the press, making us think he was the victim. 
Now alone, the culprit collected the video camera and tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. But there was another reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma could figure out. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Finally, they climbed inside of an exosol to hide and waited with bated breath. And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. They're trying to deceive Monokuma in order to defeat the true mastermind. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified culprit trick. The culprit is in that exosol. It's you, isn't it? Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut. Dang. I'm right, aren't I? That's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? Really? Is it really, Kaito? I must reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. Man! Shuichi sure loves his crazy deductions! Huh? You're... still not gonna admit it? Admit it? But it's wrong. But logically speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would have admitted it by now. Shuichi's reasoning wrong somehow? No, my detective work was flawless. It is the truth. I'm sure Kaido is inside that exosol. So why is Kaido still fighting me? Is this about Monokuma? Or is there another aspect to this? You claim everything is set, and that's it. You don't have any evidence, do you? You all think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped for a moment. But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence to back it up. So if we reverse our reverse way of thinking, then it's likely I didn't do anything, right? It's totally possible that the body switching never happened and Kaito is dead. Not just possible, it's the actual truth. Well, it's true. There's no proof that the bodies were switched. No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. Well, I don't care either way. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. What will the results of this voting time be? If Monokuma makes a mistake, you won't be able to execute anyone, right? Then it will be my victory. And that will ruin the entire killing game. Ruin? I see. So that's your objective. You mean to ruin the killing game itself. That's why Kaido's been stubborn all of this time. But what does he mean by ruin exactly? Monokuma can do whatever he wants to the rules. How can he ruin something like that? What would be the point? Come on, Monokuma. Start the voting already. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to it. Sheesh! Let's proceed with voting time, shall we? Sorry I fell short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. Because I got the ultimate detective's airtight logic on my side. 
now I know the whole truth and why. I believe in my own logic and I believe in Kaido. From this point on, it's not about logic. It's about how far I'm willing to go. I believe in you, Kaido. Not just as a detective, but as Shuichi Sayahara. Uh, can I just say something? I'd like to have one last conversation before we vote. There's the lie! One last we hadn't lied yet this trial! There's more to talk about? You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. I just need you all to listen. All right, let's pin this down. Who is inside that Exosaw? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Hokichi's the one who died. And the culprit is Kaito standing right there. Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not. I would never die. I trust Shuichi. I don't know exactly why, but he's putting his life on the line for it. So I put my faith in him. That's the only way. Everything that has been determined up to now. What if I turn it all on its head? Yes, I need to lie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I'm lying. I know what I'm lying for. Who I'll reveal the truth. Kokichi, I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you anymore. What? What do you mean, lie? Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the Exosol is... I'm so sorry, everyone. I've deceived you all. <laughs> I've deceived you all while I'm deceiving you all right now. <laughs> uh -huh. The truth is, after we found the crushed body, I... saw Kokichi. <laughs> Kichi? Yes. He threatened me. Told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. He wanted me to lie about what I saw, so that the trial would be more interesting. But I can't do it anymore. I can't keep lying like this. I have to tell the truth. Kokichi isn't dead. He's alive. Oh, hold on! Why did you wait until now to mention this? I'm so sorry, Kibo, but it's true. Really? I really am sorry, but this is the only way. Kaido is trying to fool Monokuma, trying to ruin the class trial. If Kaido is risking his life to do this, then I have to stand by him. I believe in Kaido. I will believe in what he's trying to do. He's not doing this to hurt us. I'm sure he's trying to save us all. If Monokuma wants to rely on my detective work, fine. I'll just lie. Everyone, please, don't vote for Kaito. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi is in that Exosol. He's the culprit. Hey, Shuichi, I don't know what you're scheming. But as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. If you guys are wrong, you're gonna have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? I'm not wrong. We can't vote for Kaito. 